because hey everyone hi How's hi 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 give everyone a few minutes to show up to show up say hi hi jill marple always first oh is she she's first jill's always first look time. at that love who is that lovely lovely person next to me we'll know in a moment hi sylvia hi amber got your order in you have to have good eyesight to see all these people. I know. <laughs> Hi, Carol. How is everyone doing in YouTube and Facebook land? I hope you are nice having a wonderful me. day. Sorry we are a little late. As always, we are crazy Bill. Crazy, Hi, crazy Bill. So, welcome to Talk uh, our thingy. I'm going to let Sean introduce our guest, and then we're going to dive in. I would, like, I would like, I would like everybody, I want to introduce everybody to my one and only, no, Wait, just kidding. Wait, just two. <laughs> I have two. two. This is and my two. sister, Chelsea, yeah. who Hi. is just a year younger than me, yeah. and uh, everybody, Chelsea. Hello. Ta-da! Is like she he said, younger or older? She's one year younger. One year, two weeks, three days, four hours, and 44 minutes. No, That's 11 what? months, two weeks. That was a lot of numbers. Now it's one, two, three, four. Whatever. Because you're after me. So it has to be when you're I'm the better. Yes. So um, <laughs> so we are going to have fun. So just to explain, Chelsea, that you guys also might hear Chelsea all the time, McCaskill, who is actually his niece. So Chelsea is the one that got Kylo and, and Lainey, yes. which was Black Velvet and Candy Apple. Yes. So she yes. was named after her. Yep. Yes. So um, yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, what do you know about Chocotor? Oh. What do you I... know? know that my brother and Kenny do chocotour. That's about as much as I know. <laughs> Sean, how much chocotour do you do? <laughs> Very little. He knows I he I knows chocotour. I, I know chocotour, but I, I don't do it that often. Hi Nancy. Oh hi Nancy. Um, she does have gorgeous hair, doesn't she? Oh, well, so so as you guys join, I know that like Chelsea, some of you may or may not know Chalk Couture. Hmm. So if you want to share this with your friends, family, loved ones, that would be great. And I would love to tell you a little bit about Chalk Couture. So Chalk Couture is a direct sales company and we give you the ability to make professional results in literally seconds. And truly anyone can do this. If Sean can do it, anyone can do it. This is so true. This is true. Oh, so, true. Thanks for the pressure. Yes. Okay. No pressure. So uh, it truly is a paste, peel, and reveal. Now, of course, the number one question we get is sometimes people watch our lives mm -hmm. and they say, oh, I love it, but I'm not sure if I love it enough to pay full price. Let's be honest. So the first thing I get is how should I experience Chalk Couture? You may have went to lives and seen people say you should be a designer, you should join club, you should get a sample kit. Uh, we like to tell you guys that you could experience Chalk Couture any way you want. And the best way is there are three different ways to experience Chalk Couture. Now down below, I do have a link to a video that goes into greater depths about the three ways. But the first way is to shop our Chocotour site. Now, Sean, how do we know we're on our Chocotour site? When you go to Chocotour slash Ken's Creations, your little picture will be right up there in the upper right-hand corner. I feel yes. like I need to write notes. So basically, there are these things called cookies. Chelsea, what is a cookie? Stop. I don't know. <laughs> it's something so, we eat. Yes, most people think okay. it's something we eat, uh, but a cookie is actually a thing that is kept on your computer. So your computer remembers that you visited that website and it's going to remember whoever's site. So you might go to a site and it could be completely someone else. You can change the designer, but always look to the upper right hand corner. If my photo is there, it'll say Ken's Creations. Yay. If it's not and you'd rather support someone else, that's fine too. That's fine. But you can also change the designer by hitting change designer. Now, when you're on our site, you'll have the ability to purchase our beautiful paste colors, including that gorgeous shimmer paste colors. And we got a restock today. Mm. So a ton of the shimmer paste are back because those have been out of stock. Now, our current catalog we are in is the autumn and winter catalog. But... We do have two catalogs. What are our catalog cycles, Sean? So we have one for... It's not focused. Oh, uh -oh. here you go. Me. That is kind of weird. It is very that weird. It is very weird. This is not Ken's creation standard. Let's start all over. Yeah, that's Let's it. Whoa, there, there we it go. There we go. So you have the two main ones, which is Autumn Winter, and then you have a secondary one called the Holiday Suite. Then there's another main one that will replace this one called... Um, 
spring, spring summer. summer. And then there's going to be another one called the... Celebrations. Celebrations. That was Thank a very you. complicated way of saying it. We have four main cycle catalogs a year. So we have a spring, summer, mm -hmm. autumn, winter, and then we have two supplemental catalogs. So holiday mm -hmm. suite is all kind of Christmas. And then our celebrations is your spring designs. Right now we have two catalogs you can shop out mm -hmm. of. And I do have a link down below. This one is all Christmassy. This is gonna be your autumn and winter. Now, of course, you will also have the ability to shop our beautiful surfaces. Some of those we will be using. And we just got some more of those in stock. Now, I know what you are saying. I think I really love this, but I'm not sure I want to purchase a ton. Is there a way I can try it? Do you have a sample kit? What can I do? That, my friends, is the second way to experience Chalk Couture, which is our Club Couture Club. program. Now, Club Couture is a program where you get happy mail every single month. You get an exclusive B-size chalk transfer. Now, a B-size chalk transfer is 8.5 by 11, and it's exclusive. Only Club Couture and designers get this every month. You also get three coordinate page singles, step-by-step -step instructions, and we got people that are more of a visual on a YouTube, or if you like written instructions, we have a PDF. Every month, we give you a project. This is this month's. Don't change, beautiful. And so when you get this in the mail, you'll actually get the transfer and the three pay singles. Now this is $19.99 a month. This includes your shipping and everything. It is a three month commitment. So if you want to try it out, this is a great way. Now, some of the perks you get as a Club Couture member is you get the exclusive size, the exclusive transfer. You also get $4.95 flat rate shipping for US, $9.95 if you're a Canadian customer. You also get promos. So like this month's promo is $5 off a $50 purchase. But if you join with Ken's Creations, we give you some special perks. So we take care of all of your ordering, your invoicing, shipping. Um, we also do an exclusive live every month where we show you the project three different ways on three different surfaces. And then we give those away to club members. Mm -hmm. And we give them happy mail, like they a whole bunch of people just got happy mail and they're getting some more in December, which yep. is really excited. We like to spoil our club members. And we do our own promotions. And Sean, what kind of, what promotions do we do? Um, Are they so good? Yeah, Sean. Yeah, they're good. They're very good. They're really so good, people. we can't tell you. Yeah, we can't tell you. We can't tell you how good our oh, promotions are. About how good they yes, are. they are so good. So uh, that is the second way. The third way is to join as a designer. Now, joining as a designer, you would buy a starter kit. It's $99 and you get $250 worth of product. We used that Santa approved yesterday on this pillows, which were super fun. The starter kit comes with seven transfers, five jars of Chalkology paste, Three different surfaces, you get an apron, you get cards, you get everything to start off with Chalk Couture. Now, a lot of people will say, I don't want to join because I don't want to do the business. I don't want to recruit people. I don't want to do all of that. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. I always tell people the main reason to join is if you have about $150 in your cart, it makes sense to join because you're going to get uh, $150 worth of freebies, but also you're going to get 40% off everything in the catalog. So I have a lot of people that uh, wait and wait to join. And then they're like, gosh, I wish I would have joined earlier because I would have saved a lot of money. Now, I also have people that join as a club member first, try it out, and then become a designer. Yeah. And what are some of the benefits of being a designer? Well, you can make money. Let's be honest. So number one, you can make money by getting the discount. It's 40% off everything in the catalog. So you're saving a ton of money, but you can also sell the product like we do. We can sell our chalk transfers, our surface, our paste, our ink. You can also just play with the product and sell your creation. So you can sell them at church bazaars, craft shows, uh, in a gallery, wherever you want. And if you love playing with Chalk Tour, you never know. People might like your vibe and then you have a tribe and then you can make money on your team. Yep. So basically, there is a way for everyone to experience Chalk Tour. If you have any questions, let us know. I usually always um, let you guys make up the decision. I will never push you in a direction saying you should do this or this because I just want you to have fun. So with that, I think we 
should have some fun. So, because we have a newbie here, which would be her, we're going to show you really quick what Chocotour is so she can really understand what she's about to get into. Mm -hmm. There you go. La, la, la. Hi, Joanne. So it truly is that easy. All right. So All right. here we go. Let's Are you go. ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's so do Joanne it. wants to know who is this <laughs> lovely lady next to Kenny now? Joanne, this is my lovely, lovely sister, Chelsea. Hi. She lives in Tacoma. Yes. And she came over to uh, see Peeps. Yes, so, I am. Um, so for those of you who are pros we're going to be going over a lot of newbie questions just mm -hmm. because we have a newbie here yeah. and we want to make sure she knows what she's getting into so she's already picked out the projects she wants to do today mm -hmm. and she is a simple type of decorator which um is very farmhouse feel so a lot of people uh what i love about truck tours you can either do what's called a one and done which is what we're going to be doing tonight. Or mm -hmm. you can do layered pieces. Mm -hmm. We could do a lot of different fun pieces. So mm -hmm. here is the deal. We'll go down here. These are our chalk transfers. Now chalk transfers essentially are a silk screen. I feel like I want to be Vanna White. You should. Silk screen. And you can see here with adhesive in the back. And we can reuse them. How many times, Sean? You can use it. The company says between eight and twelve times, but believe One me, million. <laughs> we wish. Um, we've had some that have lasted well over fifty if you take care of your transfers. Yes. You so go. I'm gonna have your sister go in the middle now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You are main. Hi Beth. Show from Sandpoint. Hi Sandpoint. So oh, hi, Janessa. Janessa. I'm going to. Here is the deal, Sean. Yes. I'm um, gonna go up test Sean real quick. Sean. Uh, wanted me to do it all, but I'm putting it on him and he's going to be the teacher and he doesn't even know it. Oh, Don't lovely. screw it up. Here it is the deal. No is he is going to do it. I'm going to kind of switch places or I can help over here, but he's going to kind of walk through the process of mm -hmm. marking the back and fuzzing it and stuff like that. If you have questions during our process, just put them in caps so we can answer them because uh, we want to get all of your questions answered. Um, and... Uh, yeah, we'll have fun. So here's the cool thing about Chalk Couture is worst case scenario, if you mess it up, Sean, what do we do? You just wipe it off and do it over. Yep. Yeah. So the first one we're going to do is the Merry Christmas to all. A good night. This is a C size transfer, Sean. What's a C size transfer? C size transfer? is 12 by 18. So 12 across and 18 You go on that tall. side and I'll work this so magic. Okay. So first of all, what she needs to be in the middle. Yeah, you're going to be in the middle. So tell her what we do on the back. So what we want to do is that we want to mark what this is. So we're just going to flip it over. Oh, so you put it right back on there. And you're going to write Mary. Okay. I need, I need to do this. Yes. Can go I ahead. do that? Yeah, let's go Mary. Okay. Here, I don't know how to control the camera. Let's go back. <laughs> it's stressing me now out. What? And then put an arrow, a little arrow up. Is all you so, need to so basically the reason we do this is our chalk transfers. I already took chalk. See, this is how much I'm a control freak, guys. You guys know that about yeah. me. I am a tad control freak. So <laughs> the reason we do this is you'll see on our, our backer sheets, there's a shiny side and a dull side. If you put your transfer on the dull side... You're very screwed. sad. Very sad. Very sad. <laughs> Done, with that one. Yes. Done with that one. Done with that one. Now, Sean likes the arrow because Sean, when he puts this back, wants it to line up perfectly. He does not like it to not line up. He's very anal retentive on cleanliness. 
and paste jars. What? Not when we were growing up. No. no what? I was, no. I was very messy. <laughs> Listen, Sean is just sometimes a bummer deal. He's Eeyore. Sean, go back up to us because I have to tell you, now that Chelsea's here, she can collaborate everything that I try to tell you. You guys always say, Sean's so nice. We love Sean. Sean is a tad bit that passive aggressive. We could put this aside and, and discuss Sean. And just so you know, he busted his sister's high school party. He called the cops on his oh, own sister. I had did to. I tell you this or did he tell Well, he did. What? It kind of needed to be done. It was a little big. It was I a know, bit much. Still, they were breaking things. They, they might destroying have been, brand they new the cops on her? I couldn't get them out of the house. There I'm glad he did, too many. There was too many of them. Wait I just me. remember I was telling everyone, I was like, don't worry, I'm, I'm leaving with you. I'm done. <laughs> so anyways, uh, so we are going to, we already have this marked. So I'm going to go back down to this you camera. And we're going to lift. Now, when you lift up a new transfer so it doesn't stick to itself, go ahead and lift towards you. Okay. Do I hold this right yep. here? Okay. Look at that, people. I did it. So we give that to Sean. Oh my and then Thanks. we're going to grab a fuzzing claw. So there is oh. a question about since two of them popped out here. Uh, Jenny up in why Canada. Is Jenny says, teal? why is one darker teal than the other? Oh, it was? Oh, yes. So basically, that is a great question. Okay. So you can go up to us and I can explain that. So our chalk transfers are actually manufactured in different places because oh. we have so many. So um, this one, Very Sean, go down here. Uh, our transfers recently got something called an updo, which all that means is, you can see the difference here. Um, China, China, China is uh, actually worried about the environment. So silk screens actually to make a silk screen requires a chemical reaction. And those chemicals can actually be harmful to uh, breathe in. Mm -hmm. So they've changed the way that they make it. So now these ones are our new transfers. Now, because of that, the one thing I will tell you is you don't want these to soak in water. So you'll see us clean them right away because we don't want to soak them, but they are a little bit darker. You are right. So, the new, so before you go, the, oh, new ones, the new ones will have, a the w. letter W next to it. So this is when you know it is the brand new one that mm -hmm. they're now making. That's mm -hmm. how you can tell. And I'm happy to hear that because I'm big on the environment. And there's yeah. a lovely lady, Carol, was asking me if my hair is naturally curly. A little bit. It was. It was. It was beginning. extra curly, and then it kind I got of, older. Yeah. My body goes through that. Yeah. So Chelsea, but Janet is our other gal that's from Tacoma. Hi, Janet. So Janet, Chelsea oh, hi, is from yeah, Tacoma. Tacoma. Hi. T town. I live so, by a Tacoma uh, Community College. So that's oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, so we are going to fuzz. Now fuzzing, these are our fuzzing cloths, but you can actually use a towel, your pants, whatever. Right. Um, the big thing is, is why do we fuzz? So, cause naturally you're going to say, well, we, you don't want it to be less sticky. Here's the deal. When you put this on a surface, it's so sticky oh, that when you stick. lift it, it could stretch. And you don't oh. want your transfer to stretch. So we fuzz it between three to five times. Amazing. So go ahead and do that. Yep. So that was one, people. You only need Any to side? Two. Any side? Ooh, Sean, that's a great question. Yes, there what is a, there is a the difference. difference in the side? So this is, this, we consider this rough. terry cloth. And we call this um, hey, microfiber. Ladies, who's ever my age, you remember wearing shorts like this? I do. Shorts like that? Yeah. <laughs> they had shorts like that? Heck yeah, it looks good in them. Wow. Not anymore. Sean's a narc, yes. <laughs> He's a narc. <laughs> he was, was, you guys. He told on me all the time. I go, you're my dad. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's okay. So somebody was asking, what about this line in the middle? So what, what do I do? You're going to you do the terry cloth side down first. See, I think this is terry cloth. No, that's microfiber. Oh, okay. Oh, then I had microfiber shorts. Okay, like that, right? You had terry Correct. cloth. This is, oh, sure. back in our time, this was the stuff. What if I accidentally swear? Oh, here. We say, don't swear, don't swear, and then we apologize. Yes. Okay. I may, during quarantine, I've, I've kind of let it go. So, um... Someone asked what this line is right here. Yeah. So this design, design this design is, um, you could do it as one, which we're going to do, or you can cut it and use it as two separate pieces. Mm -hmm. So anytime mm -hmm. you see a cut or a line, that means you can use our transfer for trimmers to cut it. But we're so not going to do that. We only did it two times. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. You can tell my family. Yep. So this is our Sylvie board. This is a 12 by 18 Sylvie board. It is beveled edge and it does have a top bottom. So you want to make sure you turn oh, yeah, it over thank you. because if not, it's not a big deal. You just have to turn this, but it's no big deal. So I will show you how I do it and then you're going to do it. What I like to do is not do that. Yeah. Right. So I tend to bring it up and then bring it down and then you position it wherever you want it. 
Yeah. Oh, I see. I want to position it. Have a good dinner, it. Kieran. I think I like it like right where it gives it. Perfect. Right? Mm -hmm. I can't think of it being... Yeah, I like it right there. Yep. So then I'm just going to... Yep. So basically, um, you just bring it down. And anywhere you see black is where the paste will go. Teal is where it's blocking. So now you want to make sure you rub your hands like this and make sure you don't feel any bubbles or ripples. Um, it's crooked. It's going to bite yeah. me. Okay, so all you have to do is grab it. Pull it up. Yep, you're right. Pull okay? it up. And all the way up. And then reposition it. Okay. Annette, our, our good friend down in Puerto Rico, she says, What do you mean back in our time? This is our time and we are better than ever. Oh, okay. Is that right? So I'll take that. You'll take that. Oh, shoot. So Annette also wants to know, are you, a are you a creative person, Chelsea? Oh, am I? I uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. A little bit? Yes. You know, I think I am. I like to DIY all day long. Yeah, she's made a few things around her apartment area back home. Yeah. I've seen her do that, and she does her own. Why pay for it when you can do it yourself? Exactly. Keeps me off the streets. Oh, am I supposed to do that? Why nope, did I want to do good. that? You're good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Yeah. Keep doing that. Okay. So the things you're going to want to, um, as a newbie, check for is... Uh, Sean, can you zoom in right here? I oh. sure can. Oopsie daisy. So, no, it's easy fix. So, anytime you're doing this, uh, let me get an angle here where you can see it. It's, so, there's it's bubbles here. There's a big bubble. Yeah. And you want to make sure you get rid of those bubbles. And the reason why is if you don't, you will not get a good transfer. Right, right. So, now go yeah. and feel and see if there's any... Bubbles. Do you feel any bubbles or ripples? I it. No. Okay. That's, uh, no. Nope. So the that's one thing awesome. is, Wait. is we, um, and it doesn't matter. What about have... this? Is that a concern? Nope. Okay. So the one thing is, is because we didn't cut this transfer, there's mm -hmm. this line. Mm -hmm. You do want to take this. This is our placement tape and you want to cover that because the paste will go through that. So you can literally oh, go like this yeah, yeah, yeah. and just tear it and place it over that. Gotcha. So Beth asks me, Sean, did you have red hair like this? Um, mm, not in your beard. Oh, my beard. Sorry, it, when you were answer. younger, you looked a little like Prince Harry. Oh, you did. a little bit. You but did. his hair was definitely brown. But it was a. But yeah. It was an auburn brown, auburn red, and hers was more of this color. I mean, this is. <laughs> it's not gray. What do you say? It's not gray, <laughs> at all. <laughs> but not I was always all. called red growing up. Yes. So, I just so kept it's basically color. this color, but yeah. mine was a little more on the browner side. Yeah. If I had, I have some old pictures floating around somewhere. You yeah. do. Somewhere. Oh yeah, you do. Your niece actually has them right now. Yes, Let me she pull does. up my phone. I'm yeah. sure I have one. Can um, you use a squeegee to remove the bubbles? You can. No. There we go. There's the big one. Um, oh, okay. do I need you to do that one. right now? You don't, don't have to. No, nope, you're one good. Of the ways you can. But you can. Okay. So the next thing is we are going to get our paste ready. So this is our Chalkology paste. This is non toxic. It is, um, technically you can eat it, doesn't taste great, but it's not going to hurt you. Nope. Kids can use it. Yep. Um, there is no warning labels on here like some have. Now, our paste, Sean, what's the difference between paste and ink? Paste you can go is, test real quick, yes. I'll grab an example. So, they so can chalk see. paste is chalk paste, like we call it, and it can go on pretty much any surface as long as you're transferring it to it. You put it on, it'll dry, and once it's dry, it's gonna stay there for a while. But the nice thing about that, wet it, it'll come right off. Not so a problem. A, what you would oh. use on for paste. So, whoops. As you hit her in the head. That's okay. No. So, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> here we go. Yep. Oh, you do the thing. Yeah. So this is paste. Yeah, this is it. all paste material. Here, here, here. So paste can pretty much go on any non-porous surface. Mm -hmm. It is any temporary surface. unless you make Krylon spray with just water. And then this is ink. And what would you use ink on, Sean? Ink is usually used on textiles, like this canvas type of material. Yeah, sure. Or do you want me to hold it no, up? Like... Do. Okay. You want to hold it up? Hold it up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm always talking. I feel like since I'm on camera, I want to. Yes. So this would be a textile. You can also go on uh, other materials, things like porcelain and glass. And you can, once you heat set it, we go to this camera with so either an, with oh, either with an we iron or sorry. with a heat press, easy press, or anything like this that, nice. like you can make it completely permanent. You, this, which is what we did yesterday. This can now go in the wash and it will not come off. Yeah. 
or to my house. Or to your yes. house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the big difference because people will ask, we're using paste. So I'm going to give Chelsea the paste. Thank you. And I won't eat it. We want it to be a right consistency. So I usually say cake batter. Some people might say brownie, sour cream, whatever. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and stir it, feel it. Tell me, what do you think? Inside. Yep. Yep. That's our multi-tool. So what do you feel feel like? Like, um, like pancake mix. Or okay. Yeah. So what yogurt. we're gonna do? This is our fine mist sprayer, and it has distilled water in it. And why distilled, Sean? Uh, a couple of things. Oh, distilled is. water is very clean. Doesn't have any of the impurities that most tap water has. Um, also, it keeps your paste from becoming moldy if it got to that point. Um, also for the sprayer itself, because of that fine mist sprayer, it is so fine that some of the impurities of tap water can clog it and you don't want that. No cloggy, cloggy. All right. So let's see. Oh that's yeah, fine. that's good. Nice. All right. So now we get to choose your weapon of choice. So we have different ways you can apply the paste. Most of them obviously are squeegees. Mm -hmm. We have this, which is our, can you zoom in a little shiny? I sure can. So this is our small squeegee. This is my favorite, the mini squeegee. This is actually our detail tool, but it has an itty bitty squeegee. This is our multi-tool that has a mini squeegee. And then we have our big daddy, the four inch. Now, and oh, I hate that thing. The one he doesn't okay. like. The angled. Well, not that I hate it, I just don't like the it. The angled squeegee. Listen. We're just gonna put that Haters gonna hate, 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 hate. <laughs> I'm just gonna shake, shake, shake it up and shake it up. Okay, so here's the deal. If I like this one, but if you're doing one and done, which is what we're doing, the four inch is probably my favorite to mm -hmm. use, okay? So go ahead and feel this, like kind of feel, see what that feels like. Okay. It feels spot on. So spot on. Sean, what tips do we have before we do this for her? Tips? is that with paste, you have limited time to get it on, it's dragged, already, it's and already done, and then you're done. Limited time, it's, you're, it's already, limited. you're already too slow, it's done. Am I doing paste? You're doing paste. We're doing paste on this, so. So, wait, if what I'm hearing you say, if I start to go too slow and I'm screwing it up, you're gonna jump right in and help save me, right? That, or we just wipe it off and start again. Oh, so you can wipe it up. Yeah, I, okay. yes, you okay. can. You can always. Okay. So then the I'm big fine. thing here that we get, can you go test really quick, I Sean? Sure can. So the thing I always see people do is they get focused on the small details. So they put the paste on and they want to cover the entire thing. They're like, we want to put paste from here to here. So remember the blue parts, it doesn't matter. It's blocking it, okay? So what I see a lot of people doing, can we go back down to this mm -hmm. camera shiny? is they'll spend a lot of time up here and then move down here. When Sean says you have limited time, as soon as you put your paste down, it's gonna start drying and it will clog your pores. So what I tend to do is I put a lot on and then we'll remove it, okay? Okay, so, I think I've never seen one of those. Yep, so I'm gonna help you here to begin with and we're doing a one and done. So this is just gonna be done in white and I take the small squeegee and literally, I just kind of place it in random spots. Because any of the stuff we don't use, we're just going to remove out. Um, if you're a newbie and you need to block off little areas like this up here, I'll just put a little tape up there because if we get paste up there, well, uh, we'll have to clean that, which is not a big deal, but I I'm just going to give you... If I you're good to go, so that is a good question. So right now you're like, oh my God, Kenny said it's going to dry. We got to go. So right now <laughs> it's on pretty thick and you'll see sometimes when I do it, you, you have time to work with it. So go ahead and take this okay. and start going. I'm nervous people. You already screwed up. <laughs> so, okay. Here's where I would tell you actually. So see how yeah. right now you see the design. Yeah. Put the thick it on so thick that you almost don't even see uh, it. Because then it gives okay. you more time and it's drying just the top. Oh, I see. You okay. know, because if you do it too much at the beginning, you might dry too quick. And then we can always remove it. And always remember, you can move the board. So if you want to, instead of doing that, you just move the board. There you go. Yeah. Okay. And then just keep going. All the way okay. down. Move it around. Look at that. She's a natural. Natural. Well, I mean, we haven't seen the finished results, but pretty good so far. Keep it to yourself, people. Okay, now I think I'm going to get a little... That's okay. You're doing great. Nervous. All right. Wait, that's so, fine. So, now, 
Okay, my So a couple things thing. here is you have all this extra that we're just gonna mm -hmm. squeegee off, right? Okay. And so here's the thing that I will tell you. I'm a heavy hander paster, meaning like when I remove my paste, I do that, which yes. is fine, but you'll get harsh lines. All you're gonna do is remove the paste like so, put it right back into the jar like that, okay? Yes. yes. Go for it. Is it bad that I'm gonna start right over nope. here? Nope, you do you. Okay. What are we gonna have for dinner tonight, Sean? I don't know yet. Let's have that. Knowing what uh, your... So then I would go this way, and because it's easier to... Oh, I see. So this doesn't matter because it's on the blue. You're not gonna, it's not even gonna go through. What about this, like, right there? Yep. I would get that last, get this okay. stuff, and then, yep. Oops. No reason. Nope, you're okay. Keep Sylvia, going. No, need, no need to be nervous. Are you nervous right now, Charles? Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. It's just... Just trying to do it. As long as I'm not getting graded. No grading here. Okay, now I want to turn it. Perfect. So the one thing you want to keep in mind when you get towards this end is your harsh line. So these are the harsh lines. So what I do is very okay. lightly, I'll just kind of finish it by getting rid of those harsh lines, especially on white, because white will show mm -hmm. up those harsh lines. Right. So now is the time when you would get nervous because it is slowly drying. So now you get to do your reveal. Now, mm -hmm. you are going to pull this up to the sky, and the reason why is we don't want to... What do you mean by that? We don't want to stretch our transfer. A lot of people have this tendency that you want to grab and come right towards you, and you don't want to do so that. So go ahead and gonna, right here, right there, there. Oh. and, and then just pull it towards up, up the ceiling. Up. Yep. Oh, look, it took three of us. Oh my gosh, I'm amazing. Look what Isn't I Isn't that awesome? So I'm going to show her how to clean next. Come okay. on, Chels. So what we're going to yep. do, we're going to pop over to the sink. So now why is it important to clean these right uh, away, Sean? I don't clean. <laughs> it's this way. That's When name? you clean right away, this is how you uh, keep right. your transfers in great order and able to use them over and over and over again. So what he's doing right now, we've got a little bit of warm water running and a uh, board eraser. I'm getting it wet and we're running it. And all she's going to do... I know her hair's in the way. She's got such big hair. And she's just basically just scraping back and forth and, and washing off the paste. That's all we're doing. If you get into some of those pastes, like red, some yellows, and stuff like that, and if you left it on there, it will stain that because our, our uh, transfers are a little bit of a fabric. Don't worry if it's stained. It's not a big deal. Now we're flipping it because even though you're washing it, some of that paste will actually go down into the other side. So you want to make sure you do both sides of your transfer. Turn off your water, squeeze out your uh, border, race, border racer, give it a quick little shake. She found a little spot that wasn't quite done. Boom. Yeah, it is hard to go white on white. It is very difficult. And once it's done, you pick it up, give it a shake, and you're going to put it on uh, something flat. You can put it over a, a rod, whatever, just as long as you keep the sticky side up so we can air dry. There's sticky side up. Okay. Just like this or roll it? Sticky side up. So Just straight? Flat? Nope. Turn it around. That's sticky side down. Yeah, sticky side up. This way. Yep. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. So now you want to make sure your hands are dry. So yeah, let me do this, and I'm going to do this. So this is sticky side up, wet, and it's just fine. Some people may not have a dry rack like this. If you put it over, like, maybe a shower curtain rod, that's fine. Keep the sticky side up. Flat is a little bit better. And something so like this, you got air flowing both top and bottom. The, this hair dryer. Yes. And then you're going to dry your project. We use a hot setting. So Sean will mute it so that it doesn't annoy people.
Okay. So once it's dry, now you do not need to hair dry. You could just put this off to the side and let it air dry. Now this, as it, it dries, it will dry more and more permanent. So for example, this one, which we've done a while ago, is so dry that it's not, in fact, even to like wash this off, you would have to let the water sit on it and absorb. But so people will think this is permanent. Here's the deal. It's not because one, water will take it off, but nails would nick it. So if you want to make a chalk permanent, you would use a Krylon spray. Mm -hmm. This one, this is one of them. This is one's the uh, Crystal Fit Clear. So this is very high gloss. Um, don't use it very much. I do have some of it. I've been really enjoying the satin one a lot better. And you can also get you the matte. You can tell our life is very exciting. When I was you're just really, say. You know, like some people are like, I really enjoy a nice glass Merlot. I'm really enjoying that 2010 satin one. It's very nice. I was going to say, what are you sniffing? I know. <laughs> she's like puffing it. Enjoying. All right, John, you can go back up to this room. All right. So, so this is your first ever chocolate tour yeah. project, and I have to say you nailed Yay. it. So Jill so, would like to know, now that you know how to do would you want to do another one? I do, actually. Yeah. yeah. So here is, this is what I love about chocolate tour is these are called one and dones. So what I like to hit home on this, can we go to this camera? Sure the reason I fell in love with chocolate tour is in order for me to do this project pre chocolate tour, I would have had to find vinyl, have a cutting machine, cut it weed it, put it on, and then you also have to get the bubbles out. But if you even have it a little bit crooked, you're screwed. You have to restart. So if she didn't like this, if she's like, I don't like this, all she would do is take water, wipe it away. So super Sweet. easy, but we're going to kick it up a notch now. Pressure is on. All right. The talent is here. So go ahead and this is our vertical palette frame that we've already painted and we distressed it she did a great job yeah. look at that isn't that awesome i can't even look at that <laughs> distressing job she did I so did. this is actually chocolate's uh vertical palette frame and uh she home run on her part okay. so now she yeah. wants she was very inspired by the cover sean i think the catalog's over yeah, by you yeah it is so i'm going to show you the cover she was inspired by the cover that's the wrong one but that's okay oh, sorry wrong one you're so nice. You're like, Sean, that's the wrong one. But it's okay. I'm like, Sean, that's the wrong one. One more and you're out. Last We're done. I'm doing this. Yeah, Wayne Rustoleum, the other one, all of them are all about the same. He, he has, does it. He, we, here's the deal. We have no idea. What, can't, thank you. What? He just has say? his own conversation over there I with people. That. And <laughs> I've we don't know. He's just like, yeah, Wayne, that's... <laughs> How about them San Francisco whatever sports stuff? <laughs> what voices are you talking to, Sean? I don't know. And yeah. do I know them? <laughs> Um, like Joanne, you know, like Joanne said, you would never get that kind of detail with vinyl. Never, never, never. Good to know. Good Sean, to know. do you yes. have the black velvet over there? Or? No, no, none. I just took out the tray and that was it. Oh so. no, pressure. Yeah, right, Tammy. She's like, um, but they make it fun, Tammy. Is that so it? It's okay. This is the new one, but I should have one. If you um, do, I have no idea. Um, squeeze me. I'm thanks, gonna Carol. squeeze in real quick again because I do know I had one. And what are you looking for? It's my black velvet, but it might have fallen. Mm -hmm. Is that black no, velvet? The, this is my shimmer. shimmer. The shimmer shower. <laughs> um, They're like, so, so can we move along? Move along. Let's do. Oh, somebody loves your comments, Sean. I like What's it up? when my brother looks straight to the camera while Kenny does all the talking. He's like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> my black velvet. This is my brother. Mm. Macias. Growing up with my brother was always like trying to get. Um, so much out of him. How was your day? Good. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Like, how was school? Every, Fine. <laughs> literally, you can go up to us really quick, Sean. Every day when we used to come home from work, I kid you not, how was your day? It was great. Okay, well, what did you do? You, do? you know, I did stuff. stuff. And then, literally, <laughs> when he sadly got fired from a job, I said, Sean, why'd you get fired? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and then I said, did they write you up? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> did they have a reason? So I was so mad as a manager, I requested his employee file because I was like, we're going to sue them. Not only did he get written up, he got sent to training on communication. Oh. Twice. Oh. No, only once. Oh. Training? Once is enough, Sean. Don't put him under the bus. 
<laughs> it's so cute. So I try, you guys all attack me during lives and say be nice, Sean. He has communication issues, but he's working on it. <laughs> At <laughs> all. At all. So guy. you. Sean's not going to change. So we go. have to work around Sean. He, Sean, you don't need to change. You're perfect. Right. But if you right. don't change, I'm breaking yeah, up with you. Good. I mean, 21 years has been a trip, but. Done. Oh, no. Okay, so this is a brand new paste jar, and I'm going to show you a little sneak rate. Wait, where, where's that picture? So here. Oh, yeah, it's black. Is. Why is this paste jar chubbier than the other one, Sean? Well, the manufacturer that makes these jars uh, told the company that we're going to give you the four ounce jars, but you're still getting three ounces. Why is that? Because they're making um, hand sanitizers. Yeah. Safety first, COVID. Wait, COVID. what? So the oh, people, oh, oh, yeah. oh, gotcha. All right. So since it's a brand new paste jar, we do need to stir it. And you're going to do, I always tell people, they'll say, how do I know I've stirred it enough? It's a snap crackle pop. You'll hear like Rice Krispies and milk. Go ahead and stir. What if I want to eat it? And so you want to stir it until you get it nice and Smooth nice consistency. And so you're looking for that consistency of cake batter, pancake yes. batter, it sour like cream, it. It yogurt. Like it's oh, it's because chocolate rocks. I think I heard a snap too, but snap. it looks pretty smooth. Can you hear crackle, it a little bit? Pop. Snap. Crackle. Oh, do you remember that Legally Bond when she would do that? She snap would go and... snap, pick up, and then snap, and it was yeah. like the UPS guy? Right. I used to be able to do that, but now I'm a little stiff. Like, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, well, whoa, not... <laughs> whoa. This My is hamstring. a family friendly My hamstring channel. Is stiff. Wow, okay. Okay, Kenny. Whoa. I mean. Calm down. <laughs> I know at your age, sometimes you have to take a pill to get that, but. Okay. <laughs> You have choices now. Okay. So which green would you like your tree to be? This is pesto. This is meadow. This is sage. I think I like... Oh. Okay, look hold at, on. Take a look at your board. I know. Or okay. you could do a mixture of go? all of them. You could, you could do what's called the hot mess on it. Yeah, the hot mess is fun. Oh. You do, wait. You do here's all the, here's I need your... to see it. Oh, thank you. So they um, used pesto in that. Is it this one? No. No. Oh, this one? No. Which one's pesto? Oh, they this might have one. used eucalyptus. No, they didn't. They use, I think they use, well, you know what? I can tell you what they use, Sean. Excuse them oh, all. Mm -hmm. You actually go up there and you and your sis have little memory talks. I'm going to tell you what color they use. Memories. Bend and snap. Bend and snap. Thank you. Thank you, Jill. I can still do it. I got to stretch a little bit. <laughs> They're not all over it. Chelsea used to, uh, Chelsea used to work for uh, the Y. Yeah, the YMCA for 15 years. 15 years at the Y. COVID said goodbye. And COVID said bye-bye, y'all. Yeah. Quite a few people. So if too. anyone needs a personal trainer in Tacoma. <laughs> oh, sorry. She's your girl. <laughs> she is your I girl. I will do yes. it on the side. I'll come to your place. Yep. Um, I, you think that? I don't know. Pesto is what they use. I think so, I just want one. Sean, just so, pesto. Here, so you can do one or Sean, you can do pesto. multiple multiple greens. Sean, they as, use pesto. Yes, right. I, think I, I want, know, but I, a, you didn't confirm with me. I'm just Oh, we got busy it. chatting. We were advertising my... So I need to work. So it's this one here. <laughs> okay. So that's the one they I, use. I want to stick with one. Okay. Because I'm boring. boring. Yeah. Well, I'm mm -hmm. not boring. But. So now we know blocks. Good? Mm -hmm. Yes. We need to stir those to make sure. So now I need to stir these too. Wait. Yep. We want to make sure our consistency is right. Sorry, I have ice in my mouth. Hey, what are you chewing on? My ice. Um, opal ice. Are you using the scarlet too? Mm-hmm. Don't worry, Sean. I got your favorite color. He's was, obsessed we with just scarlet. did this one yesterday. It's what, so good. Do I need a thingy, my jiggy? Am I using? Here you thing? go. Multi tool. Multi. Okay. But I'll tell the company that maybe we should rename it. A thingy, my jiggy. Thingy, my jiggy. Makes more sense, duh. Tammy says you should do a hot mess. Hot mess. <laughs> That's what it's called. No, Sher Sherry says my son is a, a per my, my son's a personal trainer too. Oh, which Sherry. one? Who? Sherry Prince. Oh. I kind of want to do it for myself, but then I might have to work for someone. But then I don't want to. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Is that good consistency? Um, it's kind of hard to do a little thing. I think it needs a little. Gosh, my vocabulary today. <laughs> Kind of hard to stir in this little thingy. I said. Nicole says, "If I I'm bend, I guarantee I will snap, but I can't say it will be okay after that." Right. I have moments. You have to be careful because sometimes when Riles bends, it's because she wants to have more babies. Oh wow! We're looking. Okay. Just so you guys know, if you guys find a good golden retriever male, we're looking for one. Yes. Do you know someone? I thought you wanted. Wait, I'm confused. We want a boy. A boy, 
Has a penis, a girl has a vagina. <laughs> That's how you tell them a different. So. No, shut Just telling me. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Excuse us for a second. We have to have a family conversation. So listen. I thought you and Chelsea and. Oh, if we can't find a male, we're going to get another female and use Kylo Ren. Kylo. Okay. That's our backup plan. Okay, so hello. Kate, so is Scarlet good? But do these mm-hmm. still Car- It is. We used it yesterday, so it's still good. Oh, Scarlet's good? Yeah, that one's fine. Okay. Oh, it so, is? Yep. So I don't need this one. Nope. So what we're going to do is we're going to have all of the lids off because this is going to be a paste and peel. And what is that, Sean? Paste and peel means that you're going to we uh, take a, pe- uh, a transfer, put it on. We're going to do a first third, pull it. Dry it. I think we're gonna down. do hockey. Oh my gosh! You didn't tell me how to do one that was hard work. This, is this isn't hard. Yo, it's so easy. Okay, so we first. This is a brand new transfer. You've so I have to do the, the I have to do the padding one. thing again. First, you have to write on the back where Sean will oh, not yes. be happy with you. Where's that pen? Right there. Sean, is it still Mary? Because it's Christmas. No. What does it say on the front? It will tell you down here what it is. So this is called Holiday Tree Farm. That is a good newbie. Let's show you. This is what I love about newbies. So a lot of people will say, I don't know what this transfer is named or anything. All of our transfers tell you the name and the item number. So this way you always know what it is. So this is called Holiday Tree Farm. So you can either write Holiday Tree Farm. I just do HD. Yeah. Yeah, and then he can figure it out. And so, H, so HD. It's only two. H, Holiday Tree Farm. So HTF. T-F. Hard to find. Hard That's to what find. it would be in eBay terms. Missy says you should start a YouTube channel. And then, um, there you go, and then put an arrow so he knows. Yep. Oh, look at you. It's very interesting how you do your arrows. Oh. I do my arrows like this, but you almost do yours like, uh, you guys kind of make it look like it's going to be a four, and then you're like, nope. JK, JK. Just joking. All right. So we are now ready to fuzz it. I'm going to fuzz it. Wait. So what do you do? I pull this, right? I go from the top. This it. So the best way is Mr. here's Control. the funny thing. So listen, <laughs> when we were doing an event, a lady couldn't get it off. She didn't know like she this. She couldn't get it off. She really. couldn't. No, yeah, <laughs> no. And I don't know how somehow she literally separated this and pulled half of this off. Right. It ruined it. But it let's discuss sad. how she couldn't get it off. Well, it's because she was Kenny. 75. What? What's wrong? What's <laughs> happening? Look at this. Look at this. I've never watched but. her channel before. But I think Ken is my favorite person. Is it because I'm a fat little snowman? <laughs> what? what? Josh Gad. I love Josh Gad. I love Josh Gad. I love. Where is I this? like warm hugs. Where is so can, can you see how this one's a little stickier? Yeah. That's because to our transfers got an updo. Upgrade. Okay. Updo. So right. it's. So it's. Wait, I forgot. It doesn't matter. Terry cloth. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It doesn't matter. Microfiber doesn't shed. Sean, this one. listen. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. I screwed up. So You're here's fine. the deal. Don't our, tell Kenny that I screwed up. Here's our transfers. I do rec or wait, our uh, buzzing cloths. I do recommend washing them before you use once. them. At least once. Yes. Very important. Right, Riles? Oh, wow. This is crazy. Yeah. I know. Okay, now i got to do it So Miss Annette, our friend in Puerto Rico, she says, have you looked into online training? Some people are doing that. That include <gasps> my, including my sister. You yeah. could also do porn. <laughs> well, I've been there, done that, but now with my age, I'm just kidding. Oh goodness. Um, no, that would. That, I need to be. I. I'm a people person. I need to be around people. I do. No. Well, it's something to do until that comes around. Oh no, I um. Why don't you just do like a, a personal trainer, like just for people, like just That's be what she wants independent? To she would like well, to I, I kind of am. Okay. On the side, but not enough people right now. I just. I kind of was doing it. Because I thought I was getting my job back, but then I'm like, J- just kidding, we, we don't have the budget for that. Budgets. Stupid. Who needs them? Stupid. Okay, is that enough? Did they get a PPP loan? Too? Okay, so, nope, that's good. Nonprofit, I doubt oh. it. Oh, nonprofit. All right, so we're going to grab the surface you painted. There we go. <laughs> I painted. So now this is been painted and dried and stuff. So here's uh, the thing you want to make sure your fuzzing is done a few extra times because it can pull up the paint. So I'm just going to refuzz it. And then if it this happens, don't stress. Don't worry. Just slowly. You don't want to do it fast, but just slowly peel it apart. Just like that. So let's do just two more yeah, fuzzy Yeah, it's fuzzies. pretty sticky. So we'll fuzzy fuzzy. Celeste, I don't think we've seen your name. Are you new to this channel? I mean, you just popped in to say maybe, hi. Maybe Celeste didn't want Who's to this? be. Are your gyms not open? They are open, but they just are, but... didn't like her. Well, no. no. <laughs> 
<laughs> and they were like, perfect wow. time to get rid of her. <laughs> Done. Due to COVID. Our, we, budget. our budget. I worked at a nonprofit. I worked for the YMCA and our budget went more than How half. many people did they let they go? Walk. They let go um, in our association more than 67 people. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Even high ups. No people in Tacoma yes, are going to be people higher than me too. Higher than All right, so now we are ready to place it. Uh, that bothers me. It's not going to be It doesn't concerned. matter because it's in okay. the clean area. Oh, okay, so now I turn it around, right? I Right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you said start from the top though. You're good. I've already forgotten. That's sad. Yep. It's fine. He's silly newbies. Yeah, Joanne says that my niece works for a nonprofit and is being furloughed. Oh. So well, some people are still furloughed till December. I'm like, that's crazy. But yeah, I was like, go. Um, I feel satisfied. Okay, so then you just do press your pressing. It. Stop being so now, controlling. Now, here, I do want to show you right here. Yeah. So our, our, our pallet boards are not yeah, even, and they're not supposed it. to be. So um, what I do is I'll press here first uh -huh. and then press the rest. But you might get a little bleeding there, but it's vintage feel. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Field. Do you want to go outside? Is that what you want? Okay. Kenny's so fun. Yeah. Sharon says their YMCA is closed. Where is, where is this? What town? Which town there, Sharon? I wonder. Okay. Ta-da! Can you tell Thank us you. the October special if you become a designer this month? Oh. What was that? Can you tell us the October special if you become a designer this month? So it asks one. Do you want to know what the starter kit is? We don't have a special by becoming a designer um, because we can't offer incentives to have people join and give them something that's against compliance. So some people, I mean, our starter kit, I can show you that. Is that what they're asking? I'm not sure. Okay, so we're going to do the paste and peel method. So what this means is we're going to do it in sections. Peel, peel it, dry, dry it. it, peel it. So... Basically, since you want to do it like this cover, I'll leave it out so you have a little frame of reference. Thank you. So, once again, I tend to like this size, and this is where this comes into place. So, what I do to get ready is I put these here, so this way you can, you know, dip and then just put it here. Okay. But you're going to do, so it's up black. here is black, and then green, oh. red, red, black, black, and then we're going to stop there. Okay. And then we're gonna dry. So, and if you want a bigger one, you can get bigger ones. But do you like that size? I think so. Okay, so go for it. Just like that. Yep. But just be more. careful not to hit your tree. Yeah. Put more. Yep. Do you think? Just yeah. Put it on. Now, what I do is I put it on. So I put it on so thick that there. you can't see it. So here's another thing. You mm -hmm. always want to use this with the Chalk Tour logo facing you. Uh, whoopsie daisy. Um, but I'll put it on to where, see how you can't see it. Like if you can see the design under it, that right. means you didn't put it on. It's already drying. So okay. there you go. Okay. So. And you can always, if your squeegee is too dirty for you, I believe me, I just throw it in the water and get a new one. I don't like dirty squeegees. So. That's what she said. Right? Sean gets so mad because I'll have like, he's like, how did you go through 24 mini squeegees during this project? Like, listen, Sean. <laughs> so then, now you can go down and do your block here and here. Oh, really? That fast? Okay, wait, where's the picture? Okay. Just not the lines. Right. Yeah, that's red. There you go. I wonder if I have enough. So that person that uh, you wanted to know where they were from? Yes. Linden, Washington. Oh, really? I thought all the Ys opened up in Washington. I thought we're. Or I thought our association was the last from all Oklahoma. Right. So now Is that we're gonna. Enough? Yep. So go ahead and take this squeegee. We're gonna move on because it's dirty and I don't like it. So now you're gonna do your red lines here, okay. here, here, and here. Are those the only ones we have there? Yeah, I guess so. And then the bottom one too, you said? Yep. And it's, then over it, there. Even though it's a little yep. thin, is that still okay? That's okay. And then just put that there. And we're going to grab... That's what I mean. Okay, now the green. So the green, you can do... Start bigger. with the little one, but then okay. do the bigger one. And we're only going to go halfway to right there. Okay, so... So you can see. use both there. And remember, yep, perfect yacht or logo. And so now she put it on thick enough to where it is um, drying on the top, but it's still wet below. So she can take her time on here. And now that she's in the bigger open space, she can grab the bigger squeegee and uh, go halfway down. 
and then we are going to always follow my my hint on move re it. remove backwards. So how you put your pace down and you're going to work backwards. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a sec. Dang it. You're very patient, Kenny. Or are you holding back? Mm -mm. I'm here, Pat. Okay, let's see. Is that just like to here? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. So now what you're going to do is the easiest way is to remove backwards. And Sean, why do we want to remove backwards? Because once we've once these are already drying so under, uh, on one. the top, we're going to start with and this one. This is where you kind of have to move a little fast. Yeah. So that's okay. So basically, the reason why we move backwards is the green was the last one to get mm -hmm. put down, yep. and so it's already kind of starting drying. Mm -hmm. And so you, since it's already drying, you have a little bit more time to work with it. So now that the green's done, you're going to grab your red and remove your red. Should I just use this? Yes. Yeah. Go for it. And you're going to use. Can I do this way? Yeah. Use, use some pressure. Yeah. Yeah. You just remove it. Yeah. Okay. And then. Now the black one yep. after I want a bigger so one. So I would just, yeah, grab the big one and then just remove it. Okay. And then I would grab probably, be careful on your tree there because you don't want to hit the yeah. block in there. There you go. Perfect. And then I just use the small one down here. What if I don't want to get any green mixed in with it, though, do I? It, we can fix it if you do. It's not going to hurt well, it. I mean, for you to put it back into the container. Oh, no, it's fine. It's black. Yeah. Yeah, true. All right, so we but just want... have some of those lines, right? So... On black, lines don't matter as much. Mostly just white. Okay, so we're going to okay. lift it. Yep. So we're going to lift it Go straight ahead. up. And then this is paste, peel, and now she's going to dry it. Where's the thing in the jiggy? And see how it goes from that wet, and you're going to so, see it dry. That That's what you're looking for, is how it goes from wet to dry. Yeah. So Good just job. keep going. Perfect. Good stuff. Yep. Okay, so now... When we lay this back down, we're not worried too much about the top, but what we do want to worry is, see how you have bubbles here? Because we lifted it, just take your finger and push that down. Okay. So now, there you go, perfect. Do I need to push this down since nope. I already used it? Nope, you're good. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the bottom half. So you have green, uh -huh. you're going to have red here and here, and, and then black. black. So I would start with your green. I have red in the middle. Yep, so we're going to get a little so itty first. bitty guy for that. So I would start with your green first. Okay, and so I can use yeah, this one. Yeah, yep. We get rid of that because it's dirty. Mm -hmm. I don't like dirty squeakies. No. <laughs> and basically the thing is, is you don't have to worry about the teal part. So some people will want to cover their entire transfer. You don't have to worry about that because you're just getting those open parts. And you can see she's putting it on thick because that way when it, it starts drying, it's not drying that bottom layer. So she's going to get all this green. Wow. I've watched you do this and you probably did it with your eyes closed. And I'm like, very cautious. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So now I would grab... Um, the red, so I would do your red first. So you're going to use this. this dirty? Yeah, I don't like dirty squeegees. So mm -hmm. you're going to do that, but then you're going to use this, which is our, our detail tool on the little ones there and there. Okay. Okay. So just red there. Right yep. Red there. You got it. And then now this, this little guy to get those itty bitty dots. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Nope. Perfect. All right. Okay. Now the so black. now you can do black. So I would get so this size for yeah, that because it's not very. Okay. This makes me nervous. You're doing great. Oh, thanks. Mm hmm You should be a teacher. Once COVID's done, I can do classes. Okay. And then is there it... wine involved at these classes? Oh, yeah. Just checking. Do you drink wine? I never... I do, but... White or red? Red, all the way. Yeah, me too. I'll do a Pinot Grigio in the summertime, but it's usually red. 
Tim is the only one that's gave me a good white. Okay. So now, once again, I don't like doing squeegees, so we're going to get rid of this and the all this gets place. mad. And then we're now going to remove backwards. So you're going to remove your black first. Black first. Okay. So the reason we remove it backwards is because that black just got put down, so it's had the least amount of time to dry, where the green is already drying on the top, and we want to uh, uh, what? wait until the very end on that. Now, worst case scenario, if your paste does start drying, there are tricks. You can spritz it with water. You can put a wet paper towel on top of it um, and stuff. And then we are going to have her remove the red next. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. This is weird. Yep. I know. I don't even worry about like saving. If it's just that much, I just, it doesn't matter. And oh, now remove yeah, your green. Right. I don't even think I got anything on yeah. it. Yeah. Now one? remove your green. Yep. Okay. You can use your big one. Oh, well, that one's okay. dirty, but that's okay. I'll help you with that. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You so, yep. And then we're just going to remove it. And then Sean, uh, as soon as we're done removing it, we're going to clean this. And then he's going to tell everyone about cleaning drawers and how you need to do it right away. And it needs to be perfect. And blah, blah, blah. So, so All right. Is that what I'm doing next? Well, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, <laughs> so now we can do our final poll and reveal. Ready? You get to do the honors. Oh, I do? Yeah, Yep. Up. Just straight up. Yeah. Look at that! Awesome! Nice. So I'm going to clean this oh for you gosh. and you're going to dry that. I love it. Sean, I'm going to clean this. Did anyone hear what he said? No. <laughs> Bye, Kenny. He's going to show people how to clean jars, but I don't want him to get stuff on that. So we're going to move this. And explain All right. why it's important. Let me show should you we, how to draw. Uh, should we close these? Or is that what the jars he's talking mm -hmm. about? I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm going to get a close up here so you can see what I'm doing. So here's our uh, Scarlet. And as you can see, there is all kinds of chalk paste all over the edge and stuff. So this oh, is what that is what's great about our um, multi-tool. It's got the what I call the hockey stick end and the stir end. So basically I'll do one, you'll do the other one. So I'm gonna you're gonna hold it and you're gonna take this and you're going to go around the jar. Around the world, around the lip around the lip around the and just tap it in. It may not all get in there but get as much as you can. What if it's really sticky? You mean starting to harden? Yeah. It's okay. It'll start absorbing water once it goes inside. Then what I do is I take a wet wipe and I just take a little corner of it and I go just on the inside. A little pressure between my thumb and forefinger. I'm just going around and around. Just not seeing that. Which is basically getting the top edge. And the inside, so now it's all nice and clean. Beautiful. And then you look at your lid. This lid has been used quite a bit. It's got a little stuff up, so I'm going to wash that real quick. The black is not too bad because it's brand new, but I'm going to go give it a quick wash anyway. Give it? So, like you're going to go So what somewhere? you're going to use, you're going to stick your... Right here. Finger, yeah, just go all the way around so it's dipped right in there. It's nice because this is not full, full. I'm going to take these over to the sink real quick. Be right back while she does that. You're going to do the... Whoops, I added some to my... That's right. And then uh, do uh, the green one. Oh, you do the green me. one. Oh my gosh, you guys left me here. I'll buy you my. So Welcome to the Chelsea there channel. Is Get out. Sometimes <laughs> that you will have, you'll clean, and your transfer will leave like black residue. That's fine. It's not going to harm it as long as your transfer was clean. So, gosh, I, I like to tell people that because people are like, oh my gosh, there's still color on my transfer. Is that a deal? Um, so he is very. Very picky on cleaning the jars. Who's he? Sean. Not Ken. Hey, I don't know what ha what you did to him, but he wasn't like this growing up. Um, or were you? And I just didn't realize he's it. Always, he's not a clean person on certain spots, but when it comes to jars, because 
I don't know why he turned I, it. I in. get that. I, that's what why did you? Too. What what I happened? Know. Why I is just showing the watching the struggle of trying to open these sometimes the struggle and, is real yeah, yeah so like real briefly too. just gonna show you see now all the lids are clean even though i don't know which one is which i do know that this is the red it really doesn't matter unless you see something left behind but they're all clean we just top them off they'll be very easy to open make sure the, it's the, a, the main reason we clean our paste jars is you'll get the most out of it because if your paste jars aren't clean um, the lids won't be on tight and air will get in there and what happens when air gets in there? It starts dry drying out yes. and then you have to add a lot of water. So and if you have if it's a color you don't use very often, it can get really bad. Okay, now that I'm a professional at this, okay. I'm mm -hmm. able to answer any questions you guys have. So let's show any questions. Okay, so now <laughs> she is done. I do want to know while I clean some other stuff. First of all, you get to show everyone your completed projects. Okay. So I want to know one, what's first your we'll, favorite out we'll of this. this one? And honestly, and this is not staged or anything, I want to know your thoughts on Chalk Couture. What's your thoughts going into it? Did you think it was going to be harder? Do you think it was easy? Did you think like, oh, this is bad? Like, tell me what you thought going into it and now what you think of it. Uh, do you want my honest opinion? I do. Yes. yes. Honest opinion is good. Okay. <laughs> and my honest opinion is I, it wasn't my style. It wasn't my thing. Mm -hmm. was Which like, is fine. Eh. But I love this. So mm -hmm. I, I just, I, I never really put to, took time to really, really look at everything. So why did you think it wasn't your thing? Um... Well, I like I like um, my style of interior dec decor is not always the same, but my Christmas stuff is the same. So I mean, here's what I love about it. So sense. people will look yeah. at our catalog. A couple things will that are, are always amaze me is people will look at our catalog. And so, for example, Sean, can you go to this sure one here? Yeah, because I saw a lot of stuff so in there that I would actually go. do. They would look at this and they're like, that's not my jam. And I always right. tell people... Here's the deal. The colors can be changed to whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. You can do it in all one color, different colors. We can add glitter and stuff. You can make it however you want. Now, here's the thing. Some people love the simple one and done. I'm the same way. At Christmas time, I like very simple burlap, blocks, mm -hmm. and reds. So you can change it up however you want. And I always tell people, it's like when you go into a house that you're buying... You always tell people, don't get hung up on the paint and the wallpaper. It can change. And that, because all that can change. The so same thing on here. We could way do this different. Like, you could do this on a different, by putting this, it was funny. They came upstairs, and she goes, now, Sean goes, which one are we doing this on again? And he was freaking out and stuff, and I was like, well, she wants to do it on the vertical palette frame. She was like, diagonal. She want, or diagonal. And she, was like, she wants it brown. I was like, we can paint it. Yep. And make it whatever you want. I know, but I kept saying, but I want it on wood. Yes, but I wanted on wood. Yes, yes. <laughs> it was like wood. And so, and so, so how easy was it though? Seriously. Uh, easy. Easy. Yes. Easy. Now, I do like my cheerleader, so I yeah. do appreciate it. So the other thing that a lot of people cannot get past, and I will tell you, is some people are like, Oops, "Oh, I'm not. I I, I don't like it because it's messy. It's messy." Mm -hmm. And for me, it's not. It's really not messy. Mm -mm. You don't want it to be. What's that? Give me a catalog. Give me a catalog real quick. Yeah. I'm going to answer Ladonna's. Uh, so uh, I want to ask the audience. Can you go to this one, Sean? Sure, yeah. Which one is like? your favorite? So I love this because I always love a white on the white like this. But for me, I love this because it's got Santa over a city, so it's very sentimental. But this, I love the way you painted that is gorgeous. Thank you. The distressing and stuff. Stop. You did no. great. <laughs> it actually, this looks perfect. And it's just the right amount of red. And look at, I mean, that's just beautiful. Now, if you wanted to, I asked her before. I said, are you a glitter person? She said no. No. So you could add just glitter. Just when I'm doing, Number two. When I'm stripping. I asked her, <laughs> do you want any, like, frills? No. No. She's very right. basic. And that's which cool. is good. But oh. maybe they don't understand what frills are if they're new. Frills. I didn't know what they were. What are you showing, John? Yeah, I can't see it yet. Oh, there you are. are so you there showing? you go, LaDonna. We do have letters. They are smaller. And we our placement tape that we showed you helps you align them and everything. Okay. And we also have large, larger, like, four-inch uh, monogram letters if you want something big. So here's one last thing I'm going to show you. So you got to see kind of some fun Chelsea. Uh, no, you're fine. Sit right there. So if you have kiddos, I'm going to show you something 
that is my favorite thing to show kids. So this is a brand new transfer. If you don't have a fuzzing clock, can you come up to me, Shani? Mm -hmm. Seriously, you do not even need to use a fuzzing clock. You can put it on <laughs> jeans, your shirt. If you have dogs, just... Use them. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you? Use them. Yeah. So uh, this is our Sylvie 9 by 12 frame. We're going to put it in the middle. And we call this board here our... Uh... Oh, I forgot the word. Um, board. I was going to say boutique, but I know that's not right. It's our Sylvie. Yeah, the, type, um, the type of board. It's boutique. Yeah. Is it boutique? Yeah. Uh, maybe it is right. Okay, yeah, right. the boutique. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do um, is called my hot mess. So let's go to Yantron. This is really fun for kids. So sometimes kids start doing stuff and you're like, okay, they're not going to have the patience to pull paste and peel. They love doing this. So what you do is you literally... Take your finger and you just make circles. Now, a couple things on this. It is a little messy, but, and you kind of waste pace, but it's fun to watch kids kind of do this. So, we have our green down. I'm going to clean my finger. And then I'm going to use Sean's favorite color, which is scarlet. He loves the scarlet. Yeah. Kate says she loves the black and white. I yeah. do too. It's very elegant. I've simple. seen tree By the way, mm -hmm. Kate is our male lady. She's awesome. She's oh. very awesome. Kate, this is my sister, Chelsea. Oh, wait, I keep forgetting to look at yeah, the there camera. There we go. Yeah, just, that's the camera there. So, Kate, this is my sister. She's okay. over from Tacoma. Yes. How to get that Look at you. She's awesome. Okay, so this one is probably my favorite thing to do with kiddos because every time the, the look. So then once you have your little circles, we're going to just take our red, make crissy crossies, and you're going to start hitting, you know, different sides. Then we're going to do our green crissy crossies. And then we're going to do our white. Crissy crossies. See, Amber says I, I do this with my two year old and she loves to shock with mommy. Aww. See? Two years old. We have some people that um, go to some of the uh, old folks' uh, homes and stuff yes. and do this. You don't call them old folks, Sean. Uh, uh, <laughs> retirement <laughs> homes. Dignity. Jeez. <laughs> hey, sis, says Kate. Uh, All right. Hey, so we're going to do one final make sure. Did we miss any areas, Sean? Do we got it all? Got it all. I would say okay. so. So, obviously it's called this because at first you're that like, looks, That Ooh, looks like nastiness. This it? is I bet it's El fun though. grossiness. And then when you watch the kids reveal, because then they lift it up, and you get... That looks fantastic. This you get this show, cool yeah. marble looking effect. That does look... Oh, it didn't go all the way through, but we'll get over it. Oh, we missed the, jet, the, light, the wide. That's okay. I'll just go like this. And what you can really this do... This looks fantastic. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? <laughs> You could literally, what what you can do if something like this happens, we're just doing it just to show you, but what you can do is that you wash your um, transfer, dry it, dry it well, line it right back up on it, and finish it off, pull it off. It's like as if it was never there. Oh, That's what's it. really cool about it. I guess we missed yeah. the Y. Yeah. That's but or, not a big deal. Or you can do this. You can do what? This, and you literally just... Simple JD, this is just um, a blackboard. Yeah, they were asking if it was canvas. Nope, not a canvas. You can do it on canvas. You can this do it on canvas. It's a chalkboard, but you could do it on canvas. You could do it on all sorts of stuff. But, like, that's how easy it is to remove. If you're like, I absolutely hate it, it's not my thing, mm -hmm. just wipe it off. All right, Sean, before we leave, is there any questions? Uh, let me see. That's awesome. Uh, I like this. My first easier, workshop, I had so two two year olds, Charlotte said. That's so that's much fun. That's so awesome. Yeah. Kate says, fun and lovely. Uh, Kristen says that uh, my daughter's been chalking since she was one, one in a couple months. She loves it. And we just uh, told uh, Simple JD about it already. Does it matter which one? Okay. All right. Whatever. This okay. was fun, Thanks. everyone. I had so much it's fun. It's fun, fun, fun. Yeah. So if you have questions on Chalk Couture, using it, how to use it, um, reach out to us on social media. Mm -hmm. You can email me, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram everywhere uh just send us a shout out and we did just get a whole bunch of stuff in stock so if you are a club couture member make sure you fill out your order form and we won't be live tomorrow because it is friday. friday we'll be live on our other channel but we won't be back with chocolate tour until next monday or tuesday and Can't she won't be here but we gotta go because we gotta feed this one because mm -hmm. <laughs> she doesn't have a job Quick question. i mean no job 
They're going oh, to my retirement. Oh, because someone's saying up is their pressure to sell. So, Paula, you actually bring up a good question. So, I always tell people, I get it. I'm. Some people may not want to be on my team, or they may not research the person you sign up under. So... Some people will just join someone randomly and not get the support they need or might be pressured to sell. I do not approach it and there is no pressure on our end. So if you join in your discount, we have a lot of people what are called hobbyists. Hobbyist is someone that joins because they just want the discount, but they don't want someone saying you need to recruit. You need to do this. Um, we don't do that, but uh, like just someone. always recruit or always, ah, um, always make sure to research your person you're signing up under before so that way you know okay are they more doing the business are they just there to help support all that stuff so yeah. good good question and one last question Gretchen asked do you use wax before the are you using wax before the transfer we I'll let Sean answer that um, we do not we've never had a problem with uh, any of our boards any uh, when we're doing these um, except for a third party uh, board that's not ours, somebody else's, and it was, it was not good. It was Target. It was one of their dollar cheapies. We waxed that one, and it, it made it better. Some of us that uh, we have, uh, our friends and other designers that were, uh, live back east or down south where it's very humid, they seem to need to wax their stuff um, a lot, especially if you're doing layering. Another way that you may want to wax is if you're using an actual piece of wood that's not been uh, stained and placed with something on top of it, you may want to wax that first, but we haven't Are done one of those. Say goodbye to everyone. Hi, little Cece. Bye, Cece. Say goodbye. Say bye, everyone. I love you all. All right, guys, <laughs> if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're going to go spend some time with the sis. sis. And don't see you that uh, often. thank you so much for joining. Happy. Thank you. You are welcome. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining. And she did ask. She goes, do I get to keep the projects? I'm yeah. like, of course. <laughs> yeah. You not going to do it. If it's for $200 a piece. They Thanks, sis, for coming and joining us. <laughs> Thanks All for right, joining me.